Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to talk about a few things that you may run into if you're running the beta program. If you're doing a beta program for Google or for Samsung, you might run into a few issues. So I'm gonna show you what you can maybe expect to see, how you're able to go around those fixes, where you can send the feedback and everything else. Also, this is more primarily for anybody who is using right now the Android 14 beta 1.1. So originally when you got beta one, there's a bunch of issues with the phone. One of those was where the fingerprint didn't work at all. Now with 1.1, a lot of people running into, into issues where even Google messages doesn't even work. So you can't open it up, go to a conversation, send off text messages. Uh, and then I also ran into this one right here where I just tried to restart my phone and it put it into a bootloader or a fast boot mode. And for some people, this might freak them out if you're not used to it. So this video, I'm gonna show off the fixes of both of these two things I'm talking about. And also, if you plan to join any beta programs, what to do if any of this stuff happens. So this right here is just a uh, fast boot mode inside of Google. The Samsung one looks pretty similar to this. Google makes it very easy to know that you press up and down on the volume controls to switch what you're actually you know, selecting. If you wanna go inside of recovery mode, rescue mode, barcode, if you just wanna show the barcode to get it scanned, power off or just start the phone. Now, all I was trying to do was restart the phone because I was having issues with my messaging app, which brought this video. So what I'm gonna do here is I wanted to turn off the phone to see if it would help the messages. So what I'm gonna do is now you press on the little side key, uh, you know, because the power off was selected. So now it turned off your phone. So don't be too afraid if you saw that fast boot mode screen, it just allows you to change where you want it to go. The bootloader, you just want it to start and turn back on or power off. So now that we are powered off, I'm just going to go through, I'm gonna turn it right back on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna next go inside of the Google messages to let you know that there was issues and Google did actually fix it. So if you're running this, and you have not, you know, you still have yet to send a text message or open any conversations. I'm gonna show you how you can get it fixed right now. So now that the phone is turned on, let's say, and, and look at this, we're actually getting this little pop-up right here. So that's soon to go away as well. I actually sent that in as feedback too. So let's say that we open up messages. Uh, it's gonna be pretty dark. If I was to tap on one, it basically just crashes. So it doesn't matter where you try to go. If you try to scroll or try to get into a different one, it's just gonna keep on crashing. And so you can't use messages. Now this one was definitely sent off by the team and all these people and people like me who is using the beta program, letting, you, letting them know about this small little bug that they sent off a update through the Play Store. So rather than Google going off and sending off another update, making this beta, you know, beta 1.2, all they tell you to do now is go inside of Messages by Google, which is the messages we use, and you can see that it was last updated on May 3rd. So I'm recording this one right now, May 4th. And so just yesterday, they were able to actually get this one updated. So now if you update it, now you should hopefully be able to go inside of Messages and have it actually working and, and having all your conversations and send text messages, receive everything like that. Now, if you were in the light mode, you wouldn't be able to see anything because I was in dark mode and it was a pretty dark gray. If you were in light mode for messages, you would see just a completely blank screen. So now that Google Messages has been updated, when you go on inside, you'd be able to go, you can read all your conversations, you can send text messages back and forth. So it looks like we are good to go with this one. So again, instead of them sending off a full nether over the year update, uh, you just now have to go inside of the Play Store to download the updated version of Google Messages because that was where the problem was. Oh, by the way, if you guys are enjoying this content, you love this video, if you find it to be helpful, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button because YouTube Analytics is letting me know that only 24% of you watching this video right now are subscribed, which means a massive 76% of you are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. Now, going back to the first thing that you saw in this video where I was inside of that little menu bootloader thing where I was just literally just trying to restart my phone. So I went over here, went to power, I hit restart. It actually would take me into that screen. And all I was trying to do was try to fix this right here. I was like, well, maybe if I just restart my phone, maybe it would work. And so what you're able to do now, if you would like to send in that feedback is you go inside of this feedback application. So it's gonna be on your phone installed when you sign up 
for the beta program. If you don't see it, just go to the Play Store, download Android Beta Feedback, and you're going to have it right here. Now, I have both of my recent reported issues sitting right there. My messages broke, so literally I just wrote this thing out stating anytime I opened it, it, it crashed. Anytime I tapped on a, on a conversation, you're able to attach screenshots. This one right here was turning off the device, goes into bootloader. Now, if you would like to send back this feedback, again, if you are part of a beta program or want to be a part of a beta program, you can choose if it's going to be if it's a you know an app issue, general feedback, or uh, Android issue. So I thought it was an Android issue when it came down to the bootloader. So I wrote right here, uh, restarted phone would go inside a bootloader. So you, now you have to select the issue type. So is it a problem with battery, power, accounts, profiles, accessibility, messages, which I guess I could have done the messaging one right here, slow performance. So I just went to other because I didn't really know what that option would be. So once you select that one, now you have all these options. You can, if you already took a screenshot of the problem, you can upload it. If you haven't taken a screenshot yet, tap here. You're able, you'll able to take a screenshot and of the issue so they can see it. You can also run this. This is required. So you just have to tap right here. It says take a new bug report. So it's just going to run the phone real quick, see what issues popped up for them to see it. You can select here for the date and the time of when the problem is. And then you can just give them the step-by-step, -step, you know, uh, process. So because I couldn't take a screenshot or record my first issue, which was where it went into bootloader because I'm turning off my phone, I would just have to do the step by step. So here I would say uh, hit restart phone. It goes right into bootloader. You know, then I'd be able to, you know, select if I wanted to turn off. And then right here to say, what did you expect to happen? So, well, I wanted my phone to restart and turn right back on. What actually happened? I tried to restart it. It went into a bootloader mode. I had to use the volume rocker and side key to select to turn it off or on. And then you just say, how often did it happen? And for me, it happened every time. Now, this was happening to me about four, five, six times this morning because I was trying to see you know, how I can get around this. And it happened every time. Uh, and then I thought that this was pretty high or extreme. I just put this one as high because you can just turn off the phone. It was okay. But if you restarted it, uh, that was where the problem was. So I just put it as high. When it came down to messages, I put extreme. Like if you can't send a message, if you can't you know, send or receive, that's a pretty extreme issue. Uh, but my high, I put for the restart and you put additional options or you know comments. And then that's just where you send it off. So once you put in all of this stuff, it's very easy. It doesn't take much time, maybe two minutes to fill out. You hit send and then now they're gonna you know, find and hopefully try to fix it. Now here's the really cool thing. Right here, when I sent it off about seven hours ago, I mentioned that turning off my phone by restart would put it inside of that little bootloader. And what I was trying to say from before, I, I literally did it six, seven, eight times in a row. And uh, I was trying to like see if there's any way around it. I even did power off, I did restart. And every single time I did restart, it always did that. Now that I filed it seven hours ago and they bought and they got my bug um, data and stuff like that. Now when I restart it, I just realized right now that it actually works. So I don't know if it's because they were able to somehow get into my phone and get it fixed or they sent off something, you know, right quick and either to my phone or to everybody else's. But now it actually works after I sent in the file uh, complaint. And every single time you restart your phone, it'll show you that you're part of the Android beta and through there you can send more feedback as well. So the point of today's video, as I stated from before, is to make sure that if you are running on Android 14 beta 1.1 and you ran into any of these two issues, here are the fixes. First off, when it comes down to messages, go to the Play Store and just update Google Messages. Next up, if you ran into my problem where if I restarted it, it always went into that bootloader screen, which it has done multiple times, send in feedback on both of those issues. So anytime that you have a problem, I showed you how you can go inside of the feedback area in order for you to send back feedback so things can get fixed. Now, these things happen very, very fast. Google Messages was just fixed yesterday. And then this little, you know, fast bootloader mode screen where I restarted the phone, for some reason, I feel like they fixed it for my phone within seven hours of me sending in that feedback. And if I look inside of an email, I might be able to notice that I possibly got a response back that it could have been fixed and it was taken from high to low in terms of, you know, how critical this problem is. And I do believe I got one of those emails as well. So that is the purpose of today's video. If you are running or planning to run beta, these are the steps that you can take and these are the things you can expect to happen. So again, maybe don't do it on your main primary phone. If you have a secondary phone, go for it. 
It's always fun to play with it, and it's always fun to actually help out these issues and problems. Because I am a tech guy, when these problems come about and I find it, I send it in, I give good responses, and then this way it'll help the whole development of you know the upcoming software update. But hopefully you guys found this to be interesting or at least helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.